Hello everyone, the Kentucky Patriot here. Uh, it's winter time, so it's hard for me to get to the range. By uh, the time I get home from work, it's, it's dark in the evenings. Uh, and we'll try to catch a weekend on a Saturday, weather permitting. I've got everything ready, because uh, I, I know you'd much rather uh, uh, have a range video and see, see shooting videos and uh, than me just, just sitting here talking. So uh, weather permitting, hopefully real soon I'm gonna get out to the range and uh, do just that, because I do have some ideas in mind. Uh, I've actually thought about this for a year or two. I just want to uh, tell you about the NRA convention, and this may seem boring to you. You may not even care about this video, so uh, if you want to uh, watch it, I'd appreciate it. If not, I understand, because like I said, not much excitement uh, maybe for you, but it was extremely exciting for us. And if you've never been to an NRA convention, uh, I, I just want to urge you, uh, if you get all possible, if you have a chance whatsoever, uh, do make an effort to go. It, it absolutely breaks our heart. Me and my wife, we've tried. We've tried to reschedule. We've tried to uh, make our schedule work and fit. We've tried every angle we can, and we're just absolutely not going to be able to make it this year. And it breaks our hearts. It's going to be in Atlanta, and and uh, I would really love to go, and I urge you to go, if you, especially if you've never been. Uh, the year after that, I think it's going to be in Dallas, and we're going to try to go to that, Lord willing. Uh, <clears throat> but we did, uh, thankfully, get to make it to the last two years. Uh, we, we made it to, uh, this was uh, the NRA convention in uh, <clears throat> Nashville, and uh, we absolutely loved it. Uh, Nashville is a great town, great time. It was just a wonderful experience. And then this year, was in my home state, was in uh, uh, Louisville. And uh, it, it's not just guns. I mean, uh, of course, that's, you know, they've got, they've got a showroom floor like you've never seen. Every kind of gun you could manufacture, and not only guns, but accessories. There's people in there with trips, uh, with African safaris, with uh, scopes. And not only do you just get to see these scopes, but you can take a Swarovski scope and look look through a night vision scope. They got thermal scopes. Uh, anything you can think about, there's knives, uh, any kind of, uh, anything to do with outdoors, it, it's all there. I mean, from Cabela's to Bass Pro Shop, we got a booth just... You name it, it's there. And every kind of gun manufacturer, and you don't just get to look at these guns, you actually get to take these guns off the shelf and work the actions, uh, work the slide, try the triggers, and and you, you it's a hands-on, wonderful, absolute wonderful time. Can't tell you enough how much we enjoyed it. So not only my myself, but my wife's as broken hearted as I am. She loves it, we, we so wanted to go this year. Uh, but I was gonna hit some highlights of kind of the things that happened the last couple of years. Just, we didn't take a camera, we did take a video, and I kind of, in a way, wish I had, but we, we, we enjoy the moment so much, it's hard to take time to try to film, and, and, and you know, so we, we, we did take a few few pictures, and I'll try to display them throughout this video. Actually, it'll be my wife do the editing. I'm, I'm so uh, <clears throat> technologically uh, handicapped, it's not, it's not fun, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm not good with computers or devices or anything, but my, my wife is, so she may add a few pictures in. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to talk also about the people that are there and the kind of people that, uh, uh, that I really look up to and, and admire. And uh, it was in uh, Nashville uh, that, we, that we got to go that, uh, <clears throat> you know, and a lot of times there's people there, there's all kinds of people there that you don't get to run into and, I, and, and you hate that uh, because there's so many people there. It's such, such a big place. Uh, but there are a lot of um, uh, people that I really did want to see and uh, uh, they, they were there, you know, Ted Nugent, the gunny. Uh, there were so many of them that were there. Uh, they'll have a booth at a certain time you'll, you'll get to see and, and you'll know. Uh, <clears throat> but one guy I really wanted to see was Hickok 45. I really liked him. Uh, still do. Still a huge fan. Huge, everybody knows Hickok. Uh, but <clears throat> we was there Friday and Saturday in Nashville, and he was supposed to be in a booth at 4 o'clock on a Saturday. Well, we went Friday and Saturday. We had a long drive back, so we was coming back Saturday night so we could be at church on Sunday morning. And... Uh, so I thought, I didn't know if we could wait that long to the booth. I thought there'd be a line. Well, it just so happens when we walk in there Saturday morning, uh, as soon as we walk in the door, we happen to run into none other than Hickok 45 and his son John and uh, Tim from the Military Arms Channel standing there. Well, they were talking to a lady, and I didn't want to be rude or butt in or interrupt, so I waited till he finished. Well, he didn't see me. I was kind of behind him, and uh, as he turned, uh, I think he was talking to John. It could have been Tim, but it looked like he turned to his son and said, uh, well, we've got to get going. We've got, and I thought, well, I hate to interrupt him, but I would like to meet him, have my little girl with me. And uh, I pecked him on the shoulder, and, and uh, I'm telling you, you see him on the video, you seem like a nice guy, 
but he's even more so in real life. He is one that he took time out. I know he was busy and he took time and he uh, laughed and pranked with us and talked to us and just an outstanding guy. And uh, I mean, you you just, uh, and he's a big man. He Hickok 45, you really can't tell it in his videos. And on one video he talks about how big he is. He's huge. Uh, I, I'm, I'm six foot three, uh, over 210 pounds, and he is a lot bigger than me. Very, very large man. Uh, but just got a big heart, just a great guy. And uh, we happened to run into him this year, too, at, at, uh, at Louisville. And he stopped and just talked to us like he knew us, uh, you know, all of his life. Like, like, more like we were friends than just somebody that admired his channel. And uh, <clears throat> then the, the Plinkster actually had a booth. And my kids like to watch his channel and, and some of the things he does. So we actually were scheduled to meet the Plinkster at a booth. Uh, I think whatever time he was, we got in line and was, was going to wait and get a talk to the Plinkster. And we got to meet him, and he's the same way, extremely like, nice guy. But when we got done talking to him, my little boy was only like two at the time. He told him to keep on plinking. Well, the plinkster got a kick out of that, and he didn't know us from Adam. I mean, you know, of course, we don't tell anybody we've got a YouTube channel. We don't go to promote. We don't go and, uh, you know, I don't try to get my foot in the door with any of these guys that's got huge channels and say, hey, I've got a channel. Give me a shot. Nothing like that. So none of these guys we even mentioned. We don't go. I don't even have Facebook. I don't have Instagram. I don't have Twitter. I don't have any of this stuff. And even people that I know, I don't walk up to people and say, hey, I got a YouTube channel. So really the only way these YouTube channels get spread is by you. Uh, you telling your friends, you, you, you sharing it. Uh, really, I want to uh, <clears throat> mention another uh, YouTuber right here. And I hate that he wasn't there. Uh, I, I actually messaged him to see if Paul Harrell was going to be there because I was really wanting to meet Mr. Harrell. And I was actually, I told my wife, I said, if he comes, we'll take him out to dinner, him and his wife or whoever's with him. And, uh, but he didn't get to make it. But uh, really, most of my views on this channel, this is a small channel we don't advertise, is really due to Paul Harrell. And uh, I want to tell him thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. He had nothing to gain by giving us shout outs or being so kind to our channel. Uh, other than him just being a good guy. He had not gained nothing monetarily. He gained nothing by helping us other than just being a big channel, uh, just giving a shout out to a, to a small channel and just being a nice guy. Uh, <clears throat> so the plinkster didn't know us from Adam. So when my little boy said, uh, keep on plinking, he, he got tickled. And uh, he actually had shot this uh, card, I guess, previously. And uh, he, had a, he had a few of them there, and he had signed it and had laminated them prior to the NRA convention and give this to our little boy. And I thought that was such a nice gesture. I mean, he didn't have to do that. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, just really about everybody we ran into down there, uh, nobody seemed arrogant or big feeling or like they was better than you or that we was bothering them. And, uh, you know, this year, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of guns, and we took time. Me and my wife went through the booths, and we, we really had a good time. And I really got to meet some wonderful people. Um, one guy I really look up to is uh, this gentleman right here, Bill Wilson. Uh, and I know if you've uh, been around guns at all or shot any at all, you know Wilson Combat. Uh, Mr. Uh, Wilson, Bill Wilson, well, he's, he's Wilson Combat. He's the guy. And I bought his book, and uh, he signed it for me. Just, just a great, great guy, down to earth. I mean, he really didn't seem... Uh, like a guy that owns a big company like that, he seems more like the guy that you just see at your local ranch. I mean, he just seemed like a guy that lives next door to you. And he was very, very easy to talk to. Just a great, great guy. And then uh, it, it was kind of funny because me and my wife was just, uh, you know, looking around. And uh, there was another aisle of booths over there. We was looking at certain guns over here. There's another aisle. I might have been the FN booth. I'm not sure. But there was another guy over there. And I hit my wife. I said, that guy looks like Chad from uh, Iraq veteran, we kind of like, about that time, I thought, you know what, that is him. And I got a little bit closer to him, and I asked, I said, you're Chad, aren't you? And he said, yes, sir. And he was um, just, I mean, you see these guys on the YouTube channel, they seem like nice guys, but you never know how people really are. I mean, he was one of the most polite, genuinely nicest guys you ever meet. And he said, well, hey, Eric's right over here. And I know you all know Eric from the Iraq veteran. And he, he took me over there and got to meet Eric. And uh, we sat and talked to Eric and Chad just, uh, and my wife even made the comment. She said, that was so unbelievable. She said, that didn't seem like they just met you. I would have swore they were your old high school buddies. That, that's, that's how they acted. Well, then Eric, uh, did, like I said, didn't know me from Adam, didn't know I have a YouTube channel, nothing. Uh, just started, uh, handed me stuff. He said, here, take this. And this is the patch that goes on your jacket. He had a backpack with him. He took this off his backpack and gave it to me. And I wasn't asking for anything. I didn't want, I mean, I said, man, I don't want you to do it. He said, no, I want to. And, they, and we sat there and talked to those guys. 
and they are some of the nicest guys you will ever, ever meet. And I, I told my wife, that just makes me just swell up with it's just down-home American patriotism and pride when you get 80,000 people to convention center. And I'm not saying everybody there was a good guy. I'm sure you've got one jerk in the bunch. I'm sure you've got one idiot. But where can you take any event where there's 80,000 people and find grandparents and parents and kids and all these people just coming together and just having a great time. I uh, got to meet Sheriff Clark while we were there. Um, just so many people that, uh, that just a wonderful experience that you can't even condense it and explain it all in just this short little video of, uh, of the true experience it is. Even if you're not a huge uh, a gun lover, you're just maybe getting into guns or don't know much about guns, you will absolutely love it for the experience. Now, my mom, she's got her concealed carry. Uh, she, uh, you know, uh, she, she you may go out and shoot with but She's not really what you call a gun person. She's not interested in it. But when she went with us to Nashville, and she loved the NRA experience. She, she talked about how much she enjoyed it, even more than she thought she would. Uh, but especially if you're a gun guy, make sure you make every effort because I promise you, you won't be let down. And uh, th this is funny. Uh, <clears throat> Jerry Mikulek and his team uh, at, you know, have different events, whatever they do. Well, <clears throat> him and his wife uh, had a certain booth uh, that they were going to be at, the Smith & Wesson booth. And uh, I told my wife, I said, I'd like to go over and get our picture made with them and meet them. Well, we go over there and stand in line. And I was the one, of course, my wife did too, but I was the one that said I wanted to go get my picture made with him. Well, we get over there and meet Mr. Michalek. And if you don't know who that is, make sure you check him out. He's amazing. Uh, one of the best handgun shooters probably ever. And uh, he, uh, we, we get over there to the booth. And he grabs this and gives it to us and signs it him and his wife. And he asked, instead of asking me, he asked my wife, he said, who do you want me to make this out to? So instead of her saying, me and my husband or me and my husband, the kid, she just says to her. So it's got my wife's name on it. don't even have my name on it. <laughs> so I've been kidding her about that. But yeah, so Jerry Mikulik signed it to my wife. My name's not on here anywhere. Uh, but we really had, had a good time. I told my wife, I said, I can't believe you threw me under the bus. Uh, and then probably the one of the absolute highlights of, of the, the time is, and it's so hard to pick because you got so many speakers, you've got so many forums, you've got so you got the gun floor to, to look that's just huge amount of, of, of you know so much to see. So you got to try to plan it. But I wanted to make sure I got to go hear this guy. Uh, those of you that don't know who Kyle Lamb is, he's a Delta Force uh, operator. He is. Uh, uh, a true American hero, patriot. Uh, he served our military. He's the tip of the spear. I, I cannot say enough good about this man. Well, he was going to speak at, at one of the forums, so we got there way early so we could get good seats because it's first come, first serve. So we got there way early. Me and my wife was like five rows back, and uh, it's a huge auditorium, but he, he spoke, and it's on Survive or Thrive is what he gave his speech on. And uh, uh, I actually got to meet him, and he, he, he'd give me this, and he had signed it, and it says stay in the fight and I actually have this on the mantle of my fireplace in the living room in my house that meant so much to me and this guy is uh, the epitome of humbleness gentleness kindness everything an American should be and I'm going to dispel the myth you've heard these people that say if you don't use foul language if you don't have tattoos all over you don't act like a, a loud screaming hawk then you can't defend yourself well, this guy proves every bit of that wrong. He's the most down-to-earth, kind, gentle, humble man there is, and he's one of the most elite, uh, military-trained, tactical men in the world. Uh, yeah, those who don't know Kyle Lamb, he's done some work from Smith & Wesson for SIG, and uh, if you ever have a chance to hear this man, you will not regret it. So Kyle Lamb, uh, hats off to this guy, true American hero, true American patriot. I also have, uh, I gotta meet Les Bear, makes custom 1911s. Uh, he signed a, a picture for me. And there are just so many others that, that we, we got to meet uh, and got to see. Uh, and like I said, I hate I didn't get to see Paul Harrell, and I hate I didn't get to see the firearm guys. I talked to or messaged both of them, was hoping they'd get to be at the conventions, and they didn't make it. I would have really liked to have met those uh, gentlemen as well. But there was a whole, whole bunch of other people uh, that I don't want to make this video too long uh, that you'll run into, that you'll see, and then uh, they've got keynote speakers. They have, uh, <clears throat> I mean, Trump was there. Uh, Ted Cruz was there. Uh, so many uh, people that, you know, that, that are just really uh, uh, great speakers. 
uh, great assets to our country were there. Uh, and then there's so many other people on YouTube and in the sporting events that are there. Uh, Larry Vickers was there uh, this year, they said. Uh, I did not get to see him. I hate that. Uh, got to meet Jeff Quinn uh, from Gun Blast. Uh, he, he, he was a great guy. And I know I'm probably leaving out somebody. I know I'm probably making this video too long, but I'm just trying to recap over a couple years of, of our experience. And uh, I just can't tell you enough. The food was great. The atmosphere was great. There was kids having fun. They've even got a day for kids. I think it's on Sundays where the kids can, they have all kinds of things planned out for the kids. It's just a bunch of patriots, just a bunch of, of, of people that love freedom, that love this country, that get together. And uh, they're, they're so willing to help. And I'll say this, and I'll try to come to a close, because I, I do this, and I think I'm going to make a 5-10 minute video, and I look at this like 25 of them, and these poor people sit through all this. <coughs> but it is, it's just absolutely uh, uh, amazing and, and wonderful, and uh, I just cannot, cannot, cannot say, say enough um, uh, for the NRA, for, 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 the, for the, the class of people that's there, the kind of people that's there, and uh, uh, <clears throat> the holster is a great place to buy a holster. We bought a holster or two there, and the reason is, uh, as a lot of times people are not trying to steer you wrong or tell you you're wrong, but what fits them may not fit you. So you you'll talk to a guy and he tells you this is the latest, greatest, best holster, and you get it on, you can't even wear it across the room. It's so uncomfortable. Well, at the NRA, all those holster companies are there. And you tell them what gun you've got, and they'll say, here, try this. And you, you try it on. Uh, and you say, nah, I'd rather have it. And then you can try it on any kind you want, inside, outside, uh, ankle. And then you can be personally fitted to the one that you like. And then you can buy it after trying it on. Because it ain't like you have to mail it in or order it. Or, uh, so there's holster companies there. And I know I'm probably leaving a whole lot out. But if you live close or you can get away for a few days or you can make travel arrangements uh, i really believe with all my heart if you go to the nra and you get to go to their convention that you will not regret it and uh, if you're not an nra member i urge you to join the nra uh, i'm a huge supporter uh, they they do so much for freedom and for the second amendment and for this country and uh, again i appreciate it. Uh, i know we're a small channel but every one of you uh, have been uh, so kind. There's been so many people that's commented and 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 left us positive comments. And even those people that disagree with us, that's okay. Cause I know there's different opinions, different thoughts. And and just because you differ from me, uh, I don't know some people like different calibers, different carry methods. Yeah, that's what makes the world go round. So there's there's no right or wrong. As long as you can defend your family, uh, as long as you carry safely, as long as you defend your home safely. Uh, I thank you for your comments. I thank you for watching. I thank you for sharing. Uh, I appreciate all you've done. And again, Mr. Harrell, uh, thank you most of all. I know most of these views came from you. May God bless you, the Kentucky Patriot, signing off.